Hello everybody. I know I'm looking a little rough. I've had a long few weeks. Um, I've had surgery on my left elbow, so I can't really use my arm very much. Um, it hurts pretty bad. Um, I'm supposed to be in a splint, but I'm not in the splint. Um, I'm trying to get, trying to use it more. If you can see, cut there. Um, but today I'm going to bring you a recipe. I'm going to one-handed make um, venison baked spaghetti. My wife requested baked spaghetti for supper, so that's what we're going to do tonight. Um, it's not really going to be spaghetti. It's going to have some spaghetti and some rotini and some other things. Uh, oh, sorry, this is my little boy. Um, so it's going to have a little bit of everything in it. Um, that's just what I have. I haven't went to the grocery I store in over two weeks. Boy. And there's my big boy behind the camera. <laughs> but. Um, that's what we're going to do this evening and I'm going to go ahead and get started early and this is something that you can use. You can uh, do this and freeze it and it works out well. So thank you all for being patient with me. We also, on top of having surgery two weeks ago, I got COVID a week after surgery so that didn't turn out well. Um, so we, uh, yeah, we're getting over that and everything's moving along now. So. Stay tuned and you'll see me get into cooking here in just a second. All right, so I got my pan here heating up. I'm going to throw in about a tablespoon of EVOO. I have my noodles. Um, my noodles are going are in the pot now. They're boiling. Once that pan gets nice and warm, which it is, let's go ahead and get some of that oil moved around. Go ahead and put in, I like to add extra onions and uh, garlic to it because we just like it, especially the onions. And we're going to get these browning. We're going to get these pretty well cooked through. And then I'm going to add my ground venison to this uh, once the onions have a chance to cook up a little bit. And then we'll, so first we'll do the onions and get those browning. And then we'll add um, a teaspoon of a garlic, chopped garlic and uh, let that go for a minute or two and then we're going to add in our meat. I'll bring you back in just a few minutes. Alright, these onions are starting to get some color on them. You guys can see that. Turn this down a little back here so we don't overflow. But now I'm going to add in a good little teaspoon of minced garlic. Is that a saute? This won't take long. I've always been told usually the rule of thumb is once the flavors, once you can smell them real good and it's smelling up the kitchen, it's usually good to go. But garlic, you can get a little bit of color. It won't taste burnt. Um, I think that's a common misconception in my opinion. You can brown it a little bit without it being burnt. But you want to be careful. Once we got that there, we're going to add in our meat. I defrosted this in the microwave on defrost, but that's all right. Here the metal still a little hot. 
frozen. 100% venison. Um, 100% venison. I harvested this deer earlier this year, or last year, around October. Very tasty. We've already had several dishes with it. And the good thing is it's all natural except I did have uh, beef tallow added into it. Because if you don't know about venison, it's extremely lean. It's a very healthy meat. And just uh, adding a little bit of tallow or a little bit of pork fat really sets it off. But you don't have to do that if you don't like it. It is a very good meat, especially if you're looking on the wanting to work on being on the healthy side of things. But I did find that it's not necessarily very cheap if you buy it somewhere. Um, what's that? Uh, whole pork foods or something like that? It's going for like eight dollars a pound. So if you want it, I recommend finding somebody who's a hunter or harvesting it yourself. It is extremely delicious. As you see, I'm just breaking it up the best I can. I want it in small pieces. And while we're right here, let's go ahead. I like to add salt and pepper now. And then I'll adjust the salt and pepper again. Once we get the sauce in and everything has time to meld together. Like that. I'm just going to keep browning this up and I'll bring you back when we get the sauce and we start layering the dish. Hope you all enjoyed so far. There we have everything browned up. We're going to add our sauce. It's just your regular run of the mill grocery sauce. It is marinara. I didn't have any kind of pasta sauce or anything fancy like that. It's just your regular marinara sauce for a dollar. It is 23 ounces. I'm just going to give this a good mix. If you want more sauce, you can add in some tomato sauce. If you want it chunky, you can add in a little can of crushed tomatoes. This looks delicious to me. And this is like a 30 minute meal. You can make this in less than 30 minutes for your family. It's delicious. And like I said, you don't have to add in the meat. You can do it all vegetarian. You can do uh, a freezer meal with this. It freezes really well. So, it's extremely versatile little recipe. There we go. I'm just going to let this go on very low till the noodles are done. And uh, we'll assemble. Stay tuned everybody. Alright, so now we are going to assemble. I'm take a layer of sauce. Sauce down, spread it out. Just like that. I'm going to take a layer of noodles. Told you it's all kinds of different noodles in here. But this is a way you can get rid of stuff and have a fine meal while you're doing it. I'm all about having fine meals and getting rid of stuff and so you can get new stuff. And then your favorite cheese, any kind of cheese, 
I have extra sharp cheddar here just out of the plastic bag and then we're going to do another layer so this is just like lasagna Heard that? My littlest one's trying to steal pizza bites. Alright, buddy. The life's of a of a home dad. I'm sure there's other fathers out here that do it. And I know there's mamas that do what we're doing. And it can be rewarding and it can be extremely tough at times. But I try to make the best of it. Noodles. Make sure you make a big mess too. That's you have to make a mess or you're not doing it right. It's not beautiful. I'm not trying to win any kind of competitions. I'm just trying to feed the family. Just like that. And I'm going to add in the rest of these noodles. There's not many left. We'll spread them out. cheese like so. There we go. A baked spaghetti ready for the oven. I'm going to leave this out of the oven for now. I'm out, I'm all, I forgot I had this. I'm going to add a little bit of this to it too. Uh, this is uh, Parmesan cheese. Like I said, this is a, an everything casserole. You can get rid of a lot of stuff and make it delicious. like that I'll bring y'all back once we pull this thing out of the oven I'm going to cook it um, I say it's a 30 minute meal but prep is 30 minutes but I will cook this at 350 degrees for 30 minutes Daddy. and I'll bring you back when we're done and plated and sitting at the table we'll have a taste test stay tuned alright everybody I'm back I have the oven set at 350 and I just put the timer on for 30 minutes. 
I'll see you guys when it's done. Hey everybody, I'm back. We're ready to eat. I will get a yeah. I'll get a other one. Okay. All right. Well, this is the end product. Looks great. We're going to dish some up and have some for supper. And um, I, I was going to taste it on camera, um, but I'm going to go ahead and give it a taste now and see how we did. Very tasty. Can I try? Want to try? Yeah. Alright, we're going to get a four year old's perspective. <laughs> if he likes it. Try, buddy. The hot, hot. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Is it yummy? Mm -hmm. There you go. It's yummy. Alright everybody, give this a try. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications. Thanks again.